The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. To us, though, God has given revelation through the Spirit, for the Spirit explores the depths of everything, even the depths of God. After all, is there anyone who knows the qualities of anyone except by his own spirit within him? And in the same way, nobody knows the qualities of God except the Spirit of God. Now the Spirit we have received is not the Spirit of the world, but God's own Spirit, so that we may understand the lavish gifts God has given us. And these are what we speak of, not in the terms that are learned from human philosophy, but in terms learned from the Spirit, fitting spiritual language to spiritual things. The natural person has no room for the gifts of God's Spirit. To him they are folly. He cannot recognize them because their value can be assessed only in the Spirit. The spiritual person, on the other hand, can assess the value of everything, and that person's value cannot be assessed by anybody else. For who has ever known the mind of the Lord? Who has ever been his advisor? But we are those who have the mind of Christ. And our response is taken from Psalm 145. Yahweh is tenderness and pity, slow to anger, full of faithful love. Yahweh is generous to all. His tenderness embraces all his creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might, making known your mighty deeds to the children of Adam, the glory and majesty of your kingship. Your kingship is a kingship forever. Your reign lasts from age to age. Yahweh is trustworthy in all of his words and upright in all his deeds. Yahweh supports all who stumble, lifts up those who are bowed down. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because his word carried authority. In the synagogue, there was a man possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil. And he shouted at the top of his voice, Ha! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked it, saying, Be quiet, come out of him. And the devil, throwing the man into the middle, went out of him without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them. And they were all saying to one another, What is it in his words? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and power, and they come out. And the news of him traveled all through the surrounding countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus.